super heavy in there, like, um, what position in there is like, uh, six steel marble or, um, I think of something. Like lead? About that big. Lead wouldn't be for this one. Oh, yeah. Mm. So if we had a big steely or something, we put it in there. The bigger it is, the faster it flies. So this thing is really light. It's like only a couple ounces that can still bounce it. There's only like 20 people up to there. Imagine if that was a drill or a hammer or a um, tool and a work person comes in here and it flies like that and you're in the way, you would get, you would get hurt really bad or killed. So that's why when you have an MRI, your technologist is going to say, do you have anything implanted in you or attached to you that's mechanical, battery operated, or electronic? Anything that has any type of mass that is magnetic on the outside of your body especially is going to get pulled. If it's on the inside of your body, surgically implanted, it's safe usually because it's stuck to something. It's not going to come flying out of your body. But if you walk in here, that's why we have you change into um, a gown and a pair of uh, scrub pants. Because if you walk in here with your jeans, your pocket, you forget your pocket knife, uh, anything, uh, a box cutter has whizzed past my head like that. Um, it's super scary and it's very dangerous if somebody's laying there or sitting there or standing there and the thing goes whizzing past their head like that. It's, it's extremely dangerous. So. That's our MRI lesson for today.